y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. I'm out taking a cruise around in the Tacoma this morning, and I felt compelled to get on here and do a video. And the reason is, is because of the setup on the truck. For those of you who don't know, I have a 3-2 ready lift on here. I also originally had gone to a bigger, wider tire than what I have now. It was a, it was a 295-55 R20. Now I have a 275-60 R20, and I had some issues. Now, I don't blame the shop for this, at least not the first part of it, because I told them what I wanted, right? You should know what you want when you go in to get anything. So I'm going to put that part of it on me for the tires that I had originally that were too big. And the problem with those was they were too close to the UCAs. When I would turn the wheel severely left or right, they would rub the UCA. When I would hit a bump when turning severely left or right, they would hit the UCAs. But that was on me, because I picked them. So I went to the 275s, and they're fantastic. They fit perfectly, I don't have any issue. I have about this much room between the tire and the UCA now. I'd say that's it's probably about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, something like that. And. I'll caution you a little bit, if you're looking at lifting your truck somewhere in that range, three or four inches, where you're not actually above, or the UCA is not actually above and away from the tire, you got to be concerned with that. If you, do, if you don't have at least, I'd say, an inch and a half clearance, inch and a quarter, you're going to rub. You're going to rub on severe turns. You're not going to rub just going down the road, but when you make a severe turn, especially if you hit a bump and you're coming out of a parking lot, you're going to rub buyer beware. Now, the reason I got on here is because of the ride. You know, I went to the 275s, solved the, problem, the rubbing problem, but then I had a, a, a ride problem. I would do this a little bit at higher speeds on the road. Now, <clears throat> it's a truck, so it's not going to be, you know, Lexus grade ride to begin with, even stock. And I realize that, but you shouldn't feel this in the steering wheel when you're going down the road. You shouldn't. The reason I felt that is because the tires weren't balanced properly. Now they had trouble with the weights on the first time around with the bigger tires. Some of them fell off, it was a mess. So I went back and they did put other weights on them, but then I switched them out to the 275s. Same place, I had them do the tires because we had the Jeep there, which is okay. I think it's a great shop. Overall, they did a fantastic job, but still a balance problem on the tires. Now, they do, I'll, I will say, they do farm that out because at present time, their balancer is broken. So they're having a third party do it. I think they probably need to find a different third party because they didn't do a good job. So, recently, I had to take the truck in for the recall, the uh, brake master cylinder recall, and I've done a video on that, so I won't bore you with that. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and spend the extra money, it was 50 bucks, and have the dealer take the tires off and balance them. Because I figured, you know, if anybody ought to be experts at it, it should be the dealer, right? I mean, they do this all the time, and they have their own on-site, you know, balancer and all that stuff, so they should be able to do the job. So I had them do it and uh, wow, what a difference. I mean, it's like a completely different truck. It feels almost, not quite, because they are bigger, more aggressive tires and it, I do have a lift on the truck, but it feels almost stock again, which is fantastic. I mean, my goal in doing the lift and changing the wheels and tires was not to come out with a an inferior ride or at least to get the best ride that I could get in doing that. And I feel like I have that now. You know, I don't have that bouncing that I had, that feeling in the tires. Uh, they did tell me when they balanced them that they were off um, before, that the, the wheels and the tires were actually almost perfectly balanced themselves. So they didn't have to put that much weight on, at least on every one but that side passenger front did require uh, a few more weights. It's nothing extreme, but a few more weights than the other wheels and tires did. So I'm very happy with that. 
I love the way it feels now. Um, again, it feels almost like stock. I mean, it's almost indistinguishable. No more rub, no more bouncy tires. It's fantastic. So I guess my advice to, to anybody, and I say this because I looked a lot before I did the lift and anything else, trying to find information because I didn't know anything about it. I'd never done it before. And you get all kinds of opinions and stuff, but ultimately nobody gives you a straight answer. You know, it's like, well, I'll give it a try, see what works. Like you can just go in and buy tires and go drive around on them and take them back and switch them out. I don't know anybody that does that because they're now used. They can't sell them as new. They're not gonna swap them out. It's buyer beware. It's up to you to determine what you need ultimately because they'll put on whatever you want, as I think they should. You know, you're the customer, you're always right, even when you're wrong. So my advice to you is, again, on the UCAs, don't put anything on unless you lift high enough that you're, you're above, you know, the tires. Nothing closer than an inch and a quarter. You've got to have at least that much space to avoid rubbing the UCAs on severe turns. If you never make a severe turn, or if you don't care about it rubbing the UCAs, I guess you're okay. I didn't like that. Secondly, when you pull out of there and you're driving down the road, yes, you are gonna have a different feel. It's gonna be just a little bit rougher, depending on what setup you use, of course. I mean, mine is a, a block and spacer lift, so I'm in essence compacting the suspension a little bit. So I'm gonna have a little bit rougher, more more feel from the road, I guess, ride than I did with stock. But it shouldn't be so bad that you're going down the road and you can feel in the steering wheel a bounce. You could even see it. I mean, if you watch your steering wheel, and again, this is at higher speeds, I'd say you've got to be doing at least probably 55 mile an hour or above before this is really going to kick in. And you might say, well, you know, then big deal. Well, it is a big deal when you're driving down the freeway and you're doing this, you know, it gets to be rather annoying and you can just feel that something's not right. So don't drive away and feel like that that should be normal. And don't let a shop tell you that that's normal. Don't let them tell you that because you've gone to a lift and more aggressive tire and wheel setup, that that's normal, that you're going to have more of that in the truck. That's not true. If they did the job correctly and your your wheels and tires are balanced properly, you're not gonna feel that. You may feel more road, but you're not gonna feel that bounce. It's not right. So anyway, I just wanted to get on here, give you guys my opinion, give you a little bit of advice, anybody out there who's uh, looking to do a lift or anything, because I really would have appreciated finding somebody, and they're probably out there somewhere, I just didn't find anything that laid it out a little bit more clearly rather than a, uh, well, you know, just try it out. And if you don't like it, take it back and get something else. Sure. If you want to buy three or four sets of tires, who wants to do that? Fortunately for me, I was lucky in that we had the Jeep and Krista wanted a lift on her Jeep with the tires that I had. And they worked out perfectly on, on her Jeep. And I will say that, uh, when they did the balance, and I'm assuming they did the balance and, and alignment and all that stuff at the same third-party shop that they did with my truck, uh, it came out perfect. Uh, her Jeep rides fantastically. There is no bounce or anything like that, so maybe they were just having a bad day. I do know that they had a bad set of weights. They wouldn't stick. Anyway, just wanted to get on here, talk about that a little bit, let you guys know my experience. I'm finally where I want to be after... I don't know, three, four trips to the shop, uh, three balances, everything is cool. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day.